So the Kromsky harp actually comes with a great assembly book as well as a warning that says, hey, don't tighten that warp too much. You can bend your back beam. But yeah, I'm just gonna open up this book and make sure I have all my parts, which I do, and then I'm going to get started. So here I have my two side pieces, and it's important to note that the pieces are actually marked front and back. And then there's two little pawls that you are going to put on, and uh, they go in opposite directions. So you make sure that you know which one's front and which one's back. And um, I had a little trouble just determining this at first, but I finally figured out that there were uh, little letters that were written inside uh, the holes there that say F and B for front and back. And then I went ahead and just inserted those pawls and screwed them down, but not too tightly because we do have to adjust those later. And at this point, um, these are my front and back beams. They're actually the, um, so really I should be calling these the warping beams because um, your warp does get wrapped around uh, the front and the back. And both of them are marked as well. There's an F and a B on those and they match up to the F and the B on uh, the sides of your harp. And again, th this is all laid out in that great little assembly book and uh, Kromsky also has a really, really good video online on YouTube that you can watch that walks you through all of these parts. Um, I go through it kind of quick because um, I'm just showing you what I did in order to get my loom ready. And um, kind of an important point to note here. So I have these uh, two pieces right here that I'm handling. And uh, those are like side beams. And I have them upside down at this point because those are actually feet. And the holes there are for um, pegs to do a warping board on the back. So um, as I start to put everything together here, um, I get the front and the back warping um, beam ready and uh, put them in correctly. But then, then we run into some problems because um, I don't realize at this point that I need to flip those um, bracer beams down um, because the feet are actually sticking up at this point. So yeah, I go ahead and I start to um, assemble and don't realize, and it's about this point that I realize, hey, something's not right. So I go ahead and I put the beams on correctly. And uh, then I start putting the um, little handle caps on. And, you know, Kromsky is great. It, they have pre-drilled holes for almost everything and the pieces need to line up, and it talks you through that on the assembly. Um, but it really wasn't that hard to figure out. So now that I have most of it put together, it's time to put my heddle blocks on. And um, I try to put it in the wrong hole first, and then I realize that I need to move it because uh, my heddle block actually needs to be closer to the back beam to start with, or the back warping rod. But I go through and I read my book and I figure out how to put them on and um, just kind of moving them here because I, of course, put them in the rung holes to start with because that is my life. And uh, then I go ahead and I put my uh, heddle pieces in the correct spot, my heddle blocks. And there is a tiny little peg in them that you have to make sure goes in a little hole to make sure that they are uh, correctly seated. 
And then uh, you just tighten down that uh, screw and nut assembly again, just like we've done with most of the other Kromsky harp things. And then here, I'm just getting the screws ready and you tighten the screws almost, but not quite all the way down on the warping beams on the front and the back. And um, it's really important that you leave just a little bit of space because you're actually going to be taking a piece of string and you are going to um, loop it around so that you have um, kind of a warping cloth, um, but it's a warping string and that helps you when you are uh, tightening your warp. So you don't quite want to screw those screws all the way down because you'll do that after you've attached your strings. So at this point, I go ahead and I grab my warping rods and I have my strings laid out and I realize that I probably need to adjust the pawls a little bit because you're supposed to tighten them down. Um, but I decide I'm just gonna go ahead and put my warping strings on and Marshmallow was very excited to help with this. I was less excited to have his assistance. And after I got started, I realized that it would be really helpful to have a crochet hook. So I went and got a crochet hook to help pull um, that string through the pre-drilled holes. And it tell, the book does tell you uh, how to wrap your string, um, but I found it really helpful to watch the Kromsky video so that uh, I could get it correct. And I did make sure that I was inserting it kind of from back to front, back to front. Uh, so that I got a nice even feed all the way across. So here I finally decide that I am going to check the pawls and I am going to adjust them so that they aren't too tight, but they also aren't too loose, and there is a note about that in the assembly book. So I fiddle and fiddle and finally decide that they're where I want them, and then I go ahead and stick the warping rod in, and I check that my string looks good, and then I just wound it down uh, so that it was held in place. And then um, I kind of did the same thing on the front and the back, just making sure that I had my strings ready, uh, that you tighten it down after you stick the loop over the screw. And it does tell you all of this again in the assembly book. So mm -hmm. once I get this done, uh, the loom is pretty well put together. And the only thing that is left is to set the rigid heddle into the heddle blocks. So. The loom does come with some extra parts and pieces, so there are some direct warping pegs that you use with the loom itself, as well as um, a separate piece that goes on a table, and I just kind of stored the blocks on um, those longer uh, holders so that I made sure that I didn't lose all of my pieces. And then that little U-shape was a warping helper, and here's my heddle and my loom's all put together.